be able to do that, but what I will do is have to move these holes down about a quarter of an inch so that so that the line hits right right there instead yeah. of having to come up there. Okay, yeah. that's it. That's hey. it. We got it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's solved all the problems of the world. You put an electric motor on that thing as a way to do the throttle. Look at this. With a third He's going line. with dual engines. Wow. Sure. He's got twin engines, huh? Yeah. Throttle with a third line. Let me tell you what this is. Yeah. yeah. I, I first mo I first mounted the motor right here. You got to get another. And you ain't got room for a gas tank. You like so you got you got to scoot. If you're using glow, you got to sit this motor out as far as you can get it almost in order for your tank to go in. Uh, let me let me bring up another point while you're talking about that because you're not inverting. You you your tank can stand up. Your tank will work fine in a vertical orientation. It doesn't have to be mounted like. It norm like this normally for a normal stun engine the tank can go like that in, 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 in a much tighter spot yeah much less use what less Eric, space. Eric said there's a guy in his club out there at Winter Nares or whatever this, that did one of these from the original plan of Dick Mathis and what he did he did the same thing I did he moved, moved his engine way out in the front so he could get a snub nose tank in there you know so in a, and if you do electric then you just put your battery down here you know, or slant it up this way, or whatever. You know, anywhere you can put it. But see, that's the way. You, you, you know see how he's got that cut out for electric? That's what I was trying to tell you on the phone. If you use electric, this part right here, oh, and this well, part right here. You, you, you yeah, just, but you you told me you told me wrong on the phone when we was having a whole discussion about the, I know. the point we're going back and forth. Mm -hmm. You told me that. The balsa comes out in both cases, but for electric it doesn't. No. It stays in there for electric. Yeah. Alan, you have to realize that we don't lie. We just so, expand on but it. But here's another thing. Or oh, oh, back to the whole discussion you and I had earlier about the, sh the shims for the 25 and the 40 engine. I realized there was an easier solution. There's electric. There's, there was an easier solution for the whole 25. I mean, there's electric. That's right. there, was a, there was an easier solution. That whole discussion we had about the 25 mm -hmm. body size with the shim. Yeah. There was an easier solution for the kit altogether. It's just design the front of this thing for a bulkhead like this, mm -hmm. which, which will accommodate electric, and then let the glow guy use an RC type mount. Yeah, so he could have just built the front of it with a bulkhead that would accept. But he, he no. could both either electric or an RC type. But the way he did it is you could use either out. Yeah, yeah. He, this all comes with a kit, so you've got your bearing box, bearing box, you know, holds the bearing back here, and then you've got the your, uh, firewall there. Motor. That's a big looking motor, electric. That's a 40, 46, I think. That, is that the 46 equivalent? Uh, I guess. I that, 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 that might be one, one size bigger than you need. You might be able to get a wide Z. What's the next size now? Is it 40 or 40, 35? Yeah, 40. You should be able to run it at whatever RPM you need to pull it, though. Huh? Being bigger shouldn't hurt you. Well, oh, it'll fly. Oh, it's, it's, it's just it's, the weight. It's, it's going to hurt you. You got excess weight. It, it will hurt you. I think the, uh, the way you got it listed on that, a 40 and a 46 is the same package, though, isn't it? Well, that's why I was asking. If 40, if 40 and 45 is the same motor, Okay, Alan, give me uh, uh, a brief description of, of what we video what we see. Is this still a video? Huh? This is video. You want a description? Yep. This is an auto to gyro. Auto? Auto, O-T-T-O. Okay. Auto to gyro, but we, we've done some uh, major improvements in the design, and, and uh, we're going to build a bunch of these and have a bunch of fun. Probably expecting it to work with the 25 to 40 engine. And if it's a really good design, I mean a really good execution of the design, it should, it might work, huh? it should be able to do a loop. Oh, okay. But uh, we're going to do a throttle control and take off the landings. Well, landings. Approximately how long do you think it'll be before it actually has a test flight? This prototype right here, I'm yeah. expecting to have it in the air in two to three weeks. And how long do you expect the lifespan of the aircraft? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. How long is the flight going to last? <laughs> Never ask that question to a test pilot. All right. Yeah, this is true. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, that gyrocopter is ready to fly. Look at him. I bet you, I bet you it, it would take off if you, if you moved it forward. Sonic's ready to go! I didn't have two blocks in This is the first official flight of Otto the Gyro and it, it is 11.25, I hope. Wires are hooked and it looks like they're ready to go. Engine's been test run. look like it's ready to go because the little propeller on top is spinning if I can get them to start the engine and let the little propeller in the front to start spinning we might have something to show
pause the camera until they actually do something. Yeah, you gotta upgrade to modern day technology because slides is a thing of the past. That's it. And I keep telling him, I says, well, I know how to do it because I did it with this camera. There's a lady in Slidell, I'll have to find her name, that can put it all on digital. Right, and they got a, they got a whole bunch of... I, what I did was, I just... Here we go. Slide the pictures. Okay, he didn't spin it that time. Whoa! Broke the prop. It didn't... He didn't spin it that time, and it took three quarters of a lap to get it off. It's, it's very sensitive to, I don't know, I don't even know because uh, me and the Colonel ain't never dealt with anything like that. I don't know, Does it know Tony? How you cure that? Is the blade not wide enough? Is it too wide? Well, I'm pretty sure Alan will be able to tell you. Yeah, they'll be able to iron it out, but the more you fly it. The more you fly it, you know, the, the better you get at it. I'm telling you right here and now, it's way too sensitive to the air currents. Flooded before. I'm going to get the flood out of it first. Ready? Ready. Right. Oh, we got a lot of pressure on this paper. Ready? The rotor's the rotor's out of balance. The rotor's out of balance. Yeah, he did. 